Hi, my name is Tim. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the website wizard in LibreOffice. The website wizard allows you to use current documents to create a website. It converts the selected documents to HTML or another selected file format that can be easily read by a web browser. It also creates an index page similar to this. It's a table of contents page that gives you that, that li has different that links to your different documents that you have selected. You can ch the wizard allows you to choose from several designs for the index page. You can do more designs after you have created the website. Sections of this video are as follows. U using the, wiz the wizard. Each step will be a different section of this video. And the sections are introduction, documents, main layout, layout details, style, website information, preview, and then the last section of this video will be viewing websites. You can watch the video from beginning to end or you can click on one of the links to my right to go to that section of the video. There will be a link throughout this video to return you to this point where you can choose another item from the list. The website wizard can be accessed from the file menu of the Start Center or any one of the six applications. First, click the File menu, highlight the Wizard submenu, then click the Web Page item. This opens a, a new untitled document that's read only, and the dialog for the Web wi Wizard and it, the Web Wizard dialog is open to the introduction step. The introduction step is the first of seven steps. It gives you some basic information about um, what kind of web page you're creating. The Web Wizard is an aid is to aid you in publishing documents on the internet. It will convert the documents so they are they can be view, viewed by a web browser. In addition, it will generate a table of contents page with links for, for easy access to the documents. The web Wizard will also allow you to customize the design and layout of your website. You'll be able to keep the documents you have published on the web up to date and add or remove documents at any time. Um, it it will allow you to it it doesn't have a, a dire direct way of making the documents live. You, you will simply save them to a uh, a folder on your desktop, and then you can upload them to your your web host later on. But any updates you do through it will will change the documents. In, in the folder where you save it. Um, the only choice on the inter introduction step is um, choose settings for the, the web wizard, whether you want to use this default session, which is a, a, from previous settings, which is the settings of, of, the, of how the table of contents page looks and which documents are included, or if you want to do a completely um, fresh website, you do the uh, default in the greater and, and less than uh, 
symbols. So then after you're you're finished saying that, you click next to go to the uh, document step. In the document step, click the add button to search your computer for documents. I will add um, these three documents here and just to save some time I'm going to go ahead and hit the shift on my keyboard and select all three of them and after I'm done I click the open and it goes ahead and adds all three after so after adding all the desired documents, click each one to add metadata and set the file format for each one for which each one is going to be exported to. So let me click uh, this test OL web contact one and you can see can change what kind of what format it's going to be exported to. Right now it's set to HTML and the choices are HTML, PDF print optimized, PDF press optimized were the original file and uh, I'm going to set it to print optimized oh, and, and just to go back and a note here um, you, you can only do um, you can only add open document formats, so things like the open document text formats, open document spreadsheet, open document presentation. You can't really add uh, any other file formats. You can't add like um, Word documents or anything like that. So if, if you have something that, that's in a Word document that, that you want to include, you would need to do a save as and make that into an open format. Okay. So if you if you add something that, that you don't want to add, you just simply click the one when you want to remove and click the remove. Um, and so back to the, the metadata um, or document information, you can change the title and for example I'll change this to contact us summary um, you can type type summary this is information about the document and the author right who you uh Right, right, and this is all. All the, this information is optional. And when you're done, click next to go to the uh, main layout step. In main layout, click one of the nine layouts. And um, when you're done, click next. And this will take you to the layout details. In the layout details step, there are nine checkboxes for details you want to include or exclude in the table of contents um, web page for the document. So there's file name, description, author, creation date, last change date, file format, 
number of pages, and size in kilobytes. And then the second section, there's an optimized layout for screen resolution. So you've got 640 by 480, 800 by 600, and 1024 by 768. And when you're get done, click the next button to go to the uh, style step. In the style step, you can change the look and feel of the table of contents page. The style drop-down has 14 cho choices. Um, click the choose button for the background image. This opens a dialog. allows you to choose from one of many images. Click the, the desired image and then click OK. Um, how, if you want an image from your uh, computer, simply click the other button and search search till you find the image. Um, if you don't want any of these images or if you want to remove a previous choice click the uh, none bu button. When you're done press OK. Um, icon set clicking this opens a dialog that allows you to choose from 32 different icons. If you don't want any art to remove a previous choice, click None. When you're done, press OK. Then click on the Next button to take you to website information. In, in the website information step, fill out the different fields for the different text boxes. Um, the created and modified date boxes have a drop down which, allow, which reveal calendars for you to select the uh, dates. Uh, this information is all optional. So when you're done filling that out, click the uh, next button to move to the uh, pre preview step. The preview step allows you to preview the table of contents. A browser also allows you to save web pages to a folder that you designate. You can also create a zip file of the pages, images, and style sheet. Um, I'll show you the preview in a second. First, I just want to um, click to show you how to um, select the folder. I've actually already got one set up. I, I did earlier, but I'll just go ahead and show you the path to that. And click on this web one, and then the preview. Click on the preview, and it opens um, the table of contents page in the, your default web browser, and it has links. These website isn't technically set up yet so these links don't actually go to uh, any uh, go to the actual pages close that and so um, um, this default session this will, will take those documents and the settings and save them so I can use them in a, a different website so, but when I'm finished, I click finished, and since I've already created created a website earlier with the same settings, it comes with this dialog. So I'm just going to click yes, and then uh, go ahead, and it's going to show me the different pages. I I just created very simple pages right now, and go ahead and close those. 
and it says and goes back to page and it says your website was created successfully into and it gives the path and that um, To view the website, go to the folder where you saved it. And see, I saved it under the Web1 folder. And click on the index document. And this opens it in your default browser. Um, and as you can see, I can click on the different links. Um, if, you, if it's PDF, and since I'm using Firefox, it's going to ask me to save it or, or open it. Um, some web browsers will just automatically open a PDF. Um, and this website is running locally off, off my hard drive. Um, to make it live, um, you have to upload it to a web host, um, and there are Main articles, videos, and services on the web that can help you help you, you do this. This video has been about using LibreOffice to create a table of contents website that connects documents you created with the Office Suite. Thank you for watching. Click on the subscribe to OS College channel box and check out my other videos on YouTube.